putting the Massey Ferguson, the Ferguson TO35. I keep saying Massey. Well, it is a Massey Ferguson, friends. Who are we kidding? You know, right there, MHF, Massey Harris Ferguson. So anyway, putting the TO35 to work. Jake's got back from Ontario with a lot of farm equipment. Uh, it's an international harvester, a McCormick uh, sickle bar mower. Just pulling that off right now. Just getting trying to rig that up. Uh, he ran down with the GMC. Brought back the COVID-19 trailer. Here's the other half of that hay mower. And we got a Massey Ferguson plow. We bought this one around Ottawa for 150 bucks. So I think, you know, between that one and this, it's not a trip plow, but that one over there is, but we're gonna try to restore this one. We're looking for a tailing wheel for it. That'll make us happy. Uh, we do have the coulters. We just took them off. Um, the hitch part of it's in really good shape, but it's not that old. One of the mold bores is worn down. We're gonna try and fix that up, so. We got power in the garage now, so that allows us to get our projects done. And uh, so there we go. Yeah, I gotta drive Yeah, because what's gotta happen is we gotta turn it sideways as you roll forward a yeah, little bit. It's in the back of the three yeah. I don't know if you guys remember the COVID-19 trailer. It's in one of the videos. That was the first build that we did because we had nothing to do. Everything was on lockdown in Ontario. We had some material lying around, so we said, hey, let's build a trailer. And uh, that's what we end up building. Great little, uh, we call it the 4x8 Plus because it's a tiny bit bigger than 4x8. That's an actual 4x8 sheet of steel or wood in there. So you can see that it's just a bit bigger. And the importance of that is being able to uh, trying to find the center of gravity. Watch your hand there in case it goes on I guess that bar is heavier than I thought. Can't do this one handed here. <laughs> Enjoying the video, friends? Hope you don't get seasick and throw up. Oh, a little action cam. This is crazy video. Crazy video. I think I pat well maybe that's not too bad. It's a little bit stuck in there. I don't know what we're gonna do. Okay, roll ahead. Very awkward part of it, Yeah, that'll fly. It's an ugly lift, but it'll fly. Want me to uh, pull forward and I'll back up? 
up there? Yeah, we'll put it next to the other half. Look at that. Working, functioning lights. That's on the original 12 volt generator. That was the boom that we also made during the COVID-19 epic saga. It's a lifting boom for the trailer, or for the tractor. But that ain't a thing of beauty what is, friends. Hey, look at that. I don't get my foot ran over here. I'm not much paying attention where I'm putting my feet. Uh, that tree, eh? Okay, so what we'll do is we'll go up and down at the same time. Okay, you start. That's it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're hooking the lifting hook. Can you go down a little bit? Canadian wonder. I think this got this as Canadian tire. Get down. Okay, should be good to back up. You're gonna swing right around this far side of the skid. No, 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 the other way. Come on back. I want you on the far side of the skid. All right. We'll uh, pause and get right back to you on this one. Oh, I got it down. Awkward left. Yeah. I, I keep, I'm a little jerky on the three point because I'm so used to like modern day controls with servos and little finger buttons and everything on all this stuff. This thing's a little different. You just go down and set it. I keep going down and then going like trying to put it back in like it's a board left and just got to use it. Maybe it's a tractor thing. I don't know what the new machines are like, but... Yeah, this week's the ball going to be about getting ready for the winter. We're going to change the blade, uh, change the bucket on the TYM and uh, 
Get the four. I think we're going to do an oil change on the 654 just because. And uh, we'll be getting that up. I want to put some speed controls on the hydraulics on this guy here. It was crazy last year trying to control the, uh, the rotation of that chute. It was so bloody fast. When you're in PTO speed, the, the pump output's way too high. So we'll be doing that. I'll do a little video on the mod. Uh, okay. So we're going to leave it at that. Jake's almost got this done. I just wanted to show you guys the tractor running again and make sure that you know, you're know you aware. We're putting the old girl to work. Or the old boy, Chad Ferguson. Ferguson TO 35 1956. Just over 5,000 hours on her now. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of work on her this winter. And yeah, things will be good. So thanks again, friends. Uh, thanks for joining in. And uh, my friend Watch West Works, you got to watch his show. He's picking on mill rates. We're going to do something with this guy. I don't know. We're going to have to... Picking on mill rates? Picking on mill rates. He's going to need a tune-up. We're going to Illinois. We're going to tune that boy up. Anyway. He says asking you guys to subscribe is patronizing, but I'm going to do it anyway. Please subscribe, ring the bell for content as we make it. There we are today at the homestead, doing a little bit of work after work. Talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye. God bless. Stay safe.